Welcome to Retro Rivals, a new Yu-Gi-Oh! series where we duel with the recently re-released Yu-Gi-Oh! Retro Pack. It's full of all the best cards from Yu-Gi-Oh!'s Golden Age, complete with the iconic anime monsters and powerful staples of all different rarities. Every week, we'll each open a new Retro Pack mini box that's four packs and use the cards inside to craft our own decks. That also means our decks will get stronger every week, from awkward strategies to custom-built powerhouses. The first duel to take five rounds is the winner. Meet Inky, Blinky, Pinky, and Clyde. Now, with our scapegoat powers combined, let this episode of Retro Rivals begin. It's episode A. We have to apologize because we really messed up. Like, well, there's a bunch of mistakes in episode seven's duel. Things got a little out of hand. They S did. Still won though. Although I think I technically sort of cheated in a way, but like you sort of cheated somewhere. I don't know, people are, there's a bunch of comments about it. Point is, we'll clean it up this episode. And right now I am up four to Alex three. So you got some work to do. I'm just gonna win two in a row. Anyways, we know you guys have been loving the series. So just keep up the support, keep up the thumbs ups, um, whatever else you want to do. And let us know what would be a good sequel series for this. Once this one's over and like Retro Pack's done, we gotta like figure, figure out something else. I mean, what you been thinking? What are you? Retro Pack 2? Mm -hmm. Konami will release it. All right, let the openings begin. All right, guys, time to open up what could be my last. Retro pack. Just kidding. There's no way I'm gonna lose again. I'm telling you guys, these packs are gonna bail me out. They know that I'm I'm on a bit of a downturn right now, and these packs know that I need to win this episode. Let's give it a whirl. First pack. That pack felt kind of loose. That's interesting. Black Illusion Ritual, Mystical Space Typhoon, Mystic Tomato, Shozan Ryu, Suijin. Is that one of the good ones? During your during your opponent's damage calculation, reduce the attack of a monster attacking this card to zero. So this is horrible. The the game. Eight guardian pieces typically are, but it's horrible. <laughs> Seven tools of the bandit, black pendant, elegant egotist, and thousand dragon. Yeah, I think every other card in that pack was better than Suijin. That's just how bad Suijin is. I remember there's one that's not so bad, but it's definitely not him. Toon Summon Skull, Gaia Power, Umiruka, Shining Angel, and Dark Magician, who I think this is my third copy. <laughs> I kind of wish it was a different Ultra at this point in the series. Gazelle, Black Pendant, Mask of Darkness, Armed Ninja. I got, I have a hollow. I got a hollow on board. The, the gods know I need this, so they're not going to just, they're, they're going to come through. Giant Germ, Luminous Spark, Sonic Bird, Toon Summon Skull, Left Leg of the Forbidden One. I've seen this card way too many times. Gazelle, Black Pendant, Cannon Soldier, Mahavilo. All right, we're down to the very last pack. This one has air in it. Maybe it's that puffy pack luck, huh? We have Toon World, Toon Mermaid, Mother Grizzly, Send You the Thousand Hands, and Monster Reborn. Now that's a strong card. Yeah, I don't even have any of this, and Paul's the only one who's had it all series. Now I've got one, so that means I can make even more explosive plays right now. And you know I like being aggressive, so this is definitely finding a way into my deck. Gazelle, Jirai, Maneater, and Arm Ninja. So yeah, these are the hollows. Uh, maybe it's a sign I should just start playing Dark Magician. I don't know about that, but I'm playing Monster Reborn. Okay guys, so another Another week, another retro pack. And I've got cards that I still actually would like to pull out of here. Like it feels like up to now our decks are like kind of just where they're gonna be, you know, nearing their end stage potential. But I still need a third Nimble Mamanga, if you can believe that. I have not actually gotten one of those. I'd like to at least try it out in my deck. Also, I saw somebody comment about Harpy, uh, Cyber Harpy Lady, which nobody has pulled. I think that's like a secret rare though. So it would be kind of difficult, but I'd love to be able to try out like a Harpy Lady strategy with like elegant egotist. I don't really know where that would go, but just the idea is cool. Four packs, here we go. Generally these have been pretty nice to us in terms of like just foils and all that. So hopefully that trend continues as well. I'll zoom this in just a hair. Toon Mermaid, Gaia Power, Luminous Spark, 
Blind Common Curious would be useful if I was able to play a, a Harpy deck. A secret rare Amazonist Chain Master. Oh my gosh, I don't want another one of these. I barely want to get any use out of this card in, in the last like few duels. If this had been a Cyber Harpy, I'd be over the moon. I mean, I'm not gonna complain, like it's a good card, but paying life points has gotten more and more difficult as these duels have gone on. So 1500 is actually kind of a tall ask. All right, Polymerization, Baby Dragon, Maha Vilo, and Twin-Headed Thunder Dragon. Like at this point, if it's not a nimble manga, the only thing I'm super interested in are the foils. And like getting a secret's kind of hard, but when you get a secret and it's like a duplicate of the card you got, not so great. Although I guess Alec has two copycats and those have been working pretty well for him. Sinju, Giant Germ, Umaruka, Toon World, another Wall of Illusion. Interesting. I like this card. I really do. It's a good set. Gotta be a little careful with it. It's it cost me some gains, but it's usually my own doing. Thunder Dragon, Seven Tools, Harpy Lady. See, that's, I want the Cyber Harpy Lady. And Twin Headed Thunder Dragon. Wait a second. Don't know Nimble Mamongas yet? Are you kidding me? Are my packs just cursed to always have Giant Germ? Blind Kamakiri, Molten Destruction. You know, it's a bit of a shame that there aren't more fire things in this set to like kind of make use of Molten Destruction with, but they don't really seem to be. Giant Germ, Black Illusion Ritual. Oh, Super Rare Catapult Turtle. I already got one of these. See, I don't mind like getting reprints of good cards, but Catapult Turtle's tough. He's a tribute one for this thing. I, mean, I guess the idea is that like he's literally, you probably aren't using this unless you're gaming your opponent, but still like a tribute's kind of hard. Like I'd rather just have Cannon Soldier, I think at that point. Baby Dragon, Jirai Gumo, Harpy Lady, and Mask of Darkness. Final pack of Retro Pack. Rising Air Current, UFO Turtle. So you think he's the only fire monster in here. Upstar, and Manga Reran, I guess. Upstar Goblin, Mystical, Space Life Food, and La Jin, the Mystical Genie of the Lamp. I think, that, is this my second or third copy of this? I'm gonna have to double check. Cause like having three 1800s Maybe a strong deck, 1800 attack points. Flame Swordsman, Polymerization, the Thousand Dragon, and the Jirai Gumo. So once again, we are continuing the trend of getting a good amount of hollows, although these just aren't exactly the hollows I want. I'll take La Jin, but I really want a Cyber Harpy Lady. If I get a Cyber Harpy Lady and it's like next episode, assuming this gets to a next episode, and I have to use Harpy Ladies for the penultimate duel, I will still do it, just know that. But only if the Retro Packs give me a Cyber Harpy Lady. You know what I think this set really needs? I feel like they should have put more Fire Monsters in. Would you agree? Uh, yeah. I think fire monsters would be nice. UFO turtle just kind of out here looking crazy because, wow. Well, he has no target It can besides, hit himself. It, yeah, it, himself. It can, it can hit himself. And that's weird because all the other floaters at least have a target. Maybe not a good target, but they have a target. Yeah, exactly, yeah. Like, I don't know. Like, even Mother Grizzly has a target. Um, yeah, Toon Mermaid. It's Toon Mermaid, but... But I mean, like, it's it's at least... It's a card. You know, it's, it's a real card you can hit, but um, that it, it's that for me and Battle Traps. I think this set would be immaculate if we had... Maybe not Mirror Force, but just, like, Saku... Even... Negate attack, Sakuretsu armor. Yeah, I think if they didn't want to do Sakuretsu armor because it may be too strong, I feel like they could have done like negate attack, yeah. Like some, something kind of like that, just a little more. Because right now the battle phase is so safe. Like, you like know, once you're attacking, you get to kind of know your opponent can't Yeah, they can't change. Really do anything. Your opponent can't change your battle position. They can't change the attack stats. So like, you know, you get there and you're good. And I don't think we should be getting, we should get off like that. I feel like we should have to sweat and suffer at every opportunity in this game. So I've been asked by uh, the powers that be to tell you guys that we need you to subscribe to the channel. So please subscribe. We're almost at 600,000 subscribers. We'd really appreciate it. And also you can become a channel member. The link to join is down below. The powers that be, by the way, uh, it's Clyde. He he said so. Do it. He was the boss of me, so I don't, know. I don't get a choice in the matter. I'm sorry. Let's just do it though. So I uh, can keep my job, hey? Huh? Are you ready for this duel, Hunter? I'm it ready might to be prove. the last you ever have. I'm going to prove that I'm the retro and you're just the rival. I just realized I called you Hunter. I don't know where I got that from. Who knows? I couldn't tell you. Yeah, I don't know what that's about. It might, might have been just like a parallel universe thing. Like, All right, are you ready, rival? No, you're the rival. I'm the retro. What, what does that mean exactly? I don't know, but we'll know when we find out who goes first. All right, high roll. I rolled a five duelist. Yeah, that's going to be rough. Yep. All right. Three. All right. I'm going first. We have the new update on Neuron, if you guys can That's see Yu -Gi -Oh! it. That's Yu-Gi-Oh! Neuron, Neuron on the uh, Apple and Android stores. Yeah. It's like our calculator app. They now have like little sort of theme, like there's like a GX mm -hmm. and a 5Ds theme. We're going with the Dual Monsters theme because it's retro rivals. All right. I'm taking the first move, Duelist. I draw. 
We're going to have a little gift. 1,000 life points with my upstart goblin. I appreciate it. I'll take it. You might need it. I won't. That's a decent draw. I'm going to start this duel by setting one card face down and ending my turn. All right. Then I'll draw for turn. It doesn't start any better than that. That's normal summon Shining Angel. Let's discard this Thunder Dragon. I fear no man, no weapon formed against me shall prosper. You know the worst feeling is when you draw two Thunder Dragons in your opening hand. Like, that's why when you just see the one, you get out you your hand You gotta hurry. And, 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 and they'll sit. And they'll just sit in that hand, but they'll at least not be draws. Right. And then it's like you're just waiting for polymerization. Yeah, they'll sit in your hand. Polymerization! Oh my god, from the start? Yeah, that's how we... That, that's the energy we're on. This aggression is what right. got you a L last time, Duelist. Are you sure I, you want to... I didn't lose because to... of the aggression. I lost because I didn't control the aggression. Twin-headed attack is face down. You attacked the Wall of Illusion. Oh, that's a babe. Which will return your twin-headed Thunder Dragon back to your fusion deck. However, this time Wall of Illusion actually dies for a change. Usually she gets to sit. Well, Shining Angel's attacking directly. Main phase two, I'll set a card phase down, I'll end my turn. I'm gonna draw a duelist. I'll raise you the same thing and discard this Thunder Dragon. To get to my hand, two more Thunder Dragons. All right, let's activate Fissure to get rid of your Shining Angel. Then we'll summon the Mahavela and equip it with the Black Pendant. Mahavela is gonna attack you for 2550 duelist. I have to apologize to the viewers, I think we did some life points wrong in the last duel, but we'll try to be good about it this time. Your move. Draw for time. Activate the mystical space typhoon. Really? You're gonna destroy my black pendant? Okay, Duelist, you take 500 from its effect. Gotta take it. Then I'll activate Monster Reborn. Ah! Targeting my Thunder Dragon. Thunder Dragon, attack Mahavilo. Mahavilo is destroyed, I'll take 50. Then in main phase two, I'll set one card face down. I'll end my turn. I draw. I'll set a card face down as well. Back to you. Draw. Let's normal summon, send you with a thousand hands. I use his effect. We're getting yeah. a ritual monster. Relink, which is added to my hand. Thunder Dragon will attack your face now. This time you attack my Blast Sphere. It's gonna equip itself to your Thunder Dragon and during your next standby phase, it will destroy it and, and inflict damage to you equal to the equipped monster's attack points. That's amazing. But I'm still gonna attack you directly with Senju. I'll end there. All right, I draw. I'll normal summon La Jin, the mystical genie of the land. Let's attack the Senju of the Thousand Hands. I'll take 400. And that's gonna end my turn, Duelist. Draw. Standby phase. Blast is gonna resolve and destroy the Thunder Dragon and inflict damage to you equal to its attack points. <sighs> We'll normal summon Senju and use the effect. Oh, okay. So two Senjus. No spell, though. Four, two Relinquish. Then that deck. I might be deck thinning. I, I might have the spell, and I'm just waiting for the right moment. But regardless, my Senju is not big enough to swing over Lajin, so I'll pass there. I'll draw for turn. I want to be my Mystical Space Typhoon on your face down card. I'll chain Scapegoat. Oh my god, of course it's Scapegoat. Of course it's, it's Scapegoat. It's Clyde, Blinky, Inky. That's Pinky, because she's Oh, that's pink. Pinky, of course. This is Blinky. That's Blinky. That's Inky. Yeah, that's Blinky, ink, bl Blinky, Inky. Oh my god, okay, of Pinky course, yeah. Inside. There we go. They're, oh, they're in defensive mode. But yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. I'm gonna enter the battle phase. La Jin attacks Senju. I'll take 400. Your move, Duelist. Draw for turn. I will normal summon La Jin. I don't know if they can see that. <laughs> yeah, he's like there. He's there. La Jin is here. He's there, yeah. There's a La Jin. I'll enter battle and have La Jin attack your La Jin. Yeah. I pass. I draw. Mmm, I activate the Monster Reborn. Oh. I'm going to revive my Maha Velo. And now I'll equip my Maha Velo with this the Axe of Despair. Now Maha Velo enter battle phase and attack Clyde. Wow. Clyde's dead. Clyde is always the one attacked first. Main phase two. Gonna set a card face down and end my turn. So now, draw. Normal summon Senju. Okay. I can't use the effect. Enter battle, battle Senju injured. attack his face down. It's my man eater bug. I will destroy your Senju. That might have been smart, actually. Yeah, might as well clear it. Senju wasn't giving me any more work. Pass. I draw. Ma Vela is gonna attack Inky. Set a card face down in my turn. Draw. Pass. Draw. Normal summon the Maha Velo. Oh my god. Enter battle. Oh, okay, it's not gonna Attack be the Pinky. Goodbye, Pinky. And then I'll attack Blinky. On my next turn, you'll lose this duel if you can't protect yourself. We'll your see. move, duelist. Draw. I'll normal summon. Time wizard! Oh, okay. <laughs> of course it comes down to this. That's right. I'll activate Time Wizard's effect. I'll call heads. 
No! Uh, it's tails. My time was is destroyed, and I take half of his attack. Which at least that point, point that, like, that's not that bad. But I mean, also, you know, sorry, duelist. Time was it wasn't enough this time. Definitely not. Activate Black Illusion Ritual. Oh, so you did have a plan B. I'm going to tribute off this summon skull for relinquished. Okay. Relinquished effect targeting the Maha Vila that has the Axe of Despair. And I will pass. I'll draw. Okay. I'm gonna have Maha Velo attack Relinquish. You do know that Relinquish won't be destroyed. He'll just send your Maha Velo to the grave. They'll both be destroyed, but now you don't have any attack points on your Relinquished. Your move. You're supposed to summon something. I mean, yeah, but no. <laughs> draw. That's for when I want to finish it off. Normal summon, Sonic Bird. Sonic Bird's fine. And I'll activate fine. its effect. I'll get my Black Illusion Ritual. Sonic Bird, attack him directly. Your turn. Draw. Upstart Goblin, I'll give you some life back in exchange for a draw. I'll set another card face down in the field and end my turn. Oh, wow. I just really. Yeah. Draw. D -d 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 give a duelist a monster. Come on. Sonic Bird, attack directly. I'll set one card face down and I'll end my turn. Draw. I'll actually Mystical Space Typhoon in your face down card. I'll really set a card really? face down and end my turn. Draw. While your deck may not want to give you a monster, I'll give you 1,000 life points. Well, thank you. That's like another turn, basically. Draw a card. Sonic Bird attack. I'll set a card face down and end my turn. I draw. Let's normal summon Maha Velo. Next, let's activate this, the Axe of Despair. That'll get it another 1,000. I'll chain Solemn Judgment, paying half my life points. Too bad for you, I've got seven tools of the bandit. I'll pay 1,000 of my life points to negate your solemn judgment. And that keeps my Maha Velo at full strength. In fact, since you paid those life points, you're now gonna pay the real price as I enter the battle phase. I'm going to attack Relinquished. Yeah. Which means it's just enough damage to end this duel. So this episode is all about Monster Reborn. This card is so crazy. It's unlocked so many possibilities in my deck. So the three highlights in my deck at this point, at least for this episode, were definitely Wall of Illusion. Really kept me in a lot of these games. Wall of Illusion, I've talked about it before. This thing is so good just because like it, you know, 1850 is a lot of defense. And then the balance means my opponent's always having to waste something. Deals with Relinquish, deals with Thunder, like Twin Headed Thunder Dragon, a Tribute Summon Monster. They just have to lose so much in dealing with it. Here goes, this might be the last duel you ever play. See, that's how I know I'm gonna win, because that can't be true. A duelist is a duelist is a duelist. You remember that. You going first or second? I'm definitely going first. All right, your move. Draw for turn. Let's start this game off with one of my favorite monsters, Sonic Bird. Cool. Now activate its effect to search for Must be nice spell. having like the search guards. I'll end my turn. I draw. I have a little life points, eh? I'll draw one. Activate Thunder Dragon. So it's a little unfortunate. I can only get one Thunder Dragon this time. Hmm, I'll normal summon the Maha Velo. Let's attack. Set. Pass. Draw for turn. Normal summon Copycat. I'll activate its effect on summon to copy Maha Velo's attack. Copycat won't be here for long because I'm going to use it to attack your Maha Velo. They're both destroyed. Main phase two. I'll set a card face down and I'll end my turn. You're on to us. Speaking of draw. Draw. Activate the Graceful Charity. Draw three cards and discard two. Cloning and Thunder Dragon. Normal summon Jirai Gumo. Ooh. In attack mode. Okay. And I'm gonna attack you directly with Jirai Gumo. I'm calling heads. I got heads. Ooh. I don't have to have my life points. Gotta take it clean. But you'll be taking 2200, uh. Duelist. Your move. Draw. I'll normal summon my Senju of the Thousand Hands. Ooh. And I'll activate his effect. I'll pay half my life points for Solemn Judgment. Divided by two. But that would stop me. To negate its entire summon. Unless you have something to say about it, Duel. I'm chaining my Solemn oh, Judgment. Oh my god, okay. Paying half my life points. <sighs> I wasn't sure if you had it. 3325 you're at. <laughs> yes, but that would uh. negate your Solemn, which means my Senju is free to search. We get a Relinquished. Activate. Black Illusion Ritual. I'm gonna tribute my Summon Skull to Summon Relinquished. Then I'll use Relinquished's effect to take control of your Jirai Gamo. And then I'll activate Monster Reborn. Ooh, you had the 
strongest combination of cards. Special summon back the summon skull, and Man. it takes very little math to see how this goes. Yeah, I'm okay. I'm attack for game. Oh. Uh, defensive, but mostly offensive because Monster Reborn with two of my other favorite cards means that I can just come out swing it kind of any time. The other two cards that kind of ended up doing a little bit more than I expected. So obviously Solemn Judgment is great. It's definitely become like a Solemn Judgment sort of game now. Now that I think we both have two copies and maybe somebody has three, I don't remember, but like we have multiples of Solemn Judgment now. And that alone means that like you have to be wary of doing anything. If you can bait a Solemn Judgment, it's huge. You can pop on with an MST, just, you know, anything involving Solemn. You can Solemn someone else's Solemn. That can, like, be a game changer. We saw that. Yeah, really good card. I'm going to take the first we'll move. Let's see. You're going to need it. I draw. Ooh. It's a hand. It's got a Thunder Dragon in it. Discard Thunder Dragon to activate its effect. I will be searching these two Thunder Dragons. I set a card face down and end my turn. Oh, wow. Wide open, huh? Yeah. Draw. At least so it appears. You know, one Thunder Dragon deserves another. It's one of the, it's one of the, it's I one of the best cards I in this had. Oh, I was the only person with the twin-headed Thunder Dragons no, and Hollies. No, I did not like that play. Those were good times. I did not like you just doing that play. <laughs> I was enjoying myself. Freaking giant special summon. Yeah. Whenever you want. Normal summon, Rajin. Activate cloning. Ooh. Since you normal summon La Jin, I'll summon a cloning token that's got the same attack points. This is the cloning token. I'll activate Swords of Revealing Light. I'll Running. set two cards face down, and I'll end my turn. I draw. I'll set a card face down. Your move. It's one draw. turn under swords. I'll pass. Draw. Take a thousand life points, but I'll get to draw a card. I'm going to set one card face down and end my turn. Draw! Let's normal summon the Senju of Thousand Hands yeah. and I activate his effect. All right, use those hands for something good for a change. I'm searching Relinquish, so. La Jin will attack your copy and Senju will attack you directly for 1400. I'll pass. I draw. Normal summon Mahavelo. Ooh. It's my third turn on her sword, so I can't attack you with it, but I will just have to end my turn. Oh, um, I'm using trap hole. Oh, you're using your trap hole, are yeah, you? Yeah, I'm using trap hole. Well, never mind. You move. Draw! Normal summon, Sonic Bird. Oh, God, we're really and going in here. And I activate the bird's effect. Black Illusion Ritual. Send you attacks for 1,400, and then Sonic Bird attacks for 1,400. I will end my turn. I'll draw. Normal summon Mahavelo. Mahavelo is going to attack Sinju. 150 damage and your move. Draw. I'll activate Mystical Space Typhoon, targeting this Speller Trap. Ooh, you hit my fissure. It was sort of a bluff, but it, like. It's, it, it's, it's kind of like bait. I'll tribute my Sonic Bird for the Summon Skull. Activate Black Illusion Ritual. Let's tribute my red eyes. Oh man, got all the classics out in the hand today. I, it, I, I feel like I have a starter deck, right? Like yeah, multiple starter just, decks right here. Starter deck Yugi, starter deck Joey, starter deck Pegasus, all in one duel. And I use Zafet to take your Maha Vilo. Relinquish will attack you directly. I activate my face down card, Mystical Space Typhoon. Oh, I'll destroy Mama Melo and save myself. Oh, you lame. I'm not lame. You're going to sack me. You lame. Summon Skull attacks directly. All right, I'll pass. All right, duelist. You put your all into that play, but it wasn't enough. Now it's my turn it to enough. make the comeback. We'll start with this my polymerization. Oh, that sucks. Let's use. The two Thunder Dragons for the twin-headed Thunder Dragon at 2,800 attack points. An attack relinquished. I'll go to main phase two, set a card face down, and end my turn. Draw! I'll activate Upstart Goblin. Thank you for the life points, Duelist. I'll draw. Summon Skull, attack the face down. It's Sangen. You know it's destroyed, I'll get to search for a monster from my deck. My Wall of Illusion. I'll set a card face down, and I'll end my turn. I'll draw. Twin-headed Thunder Dragon's gonna attack the Summon Skull. Set a card face down and end my turn. Draw for turn. I'll pass. I'll draw. Attack you directly for 2,800. Gotta take it. Draw for turn. I'll set a monster face down and I'll end my turn. I'll draw once again. Twin-headed attack the face down card. You hit my Shining Angel. Oh, I know shining what this angel means. Effect. Had a feeling. I'm going to special summon my copycat. On yeah. summon, he's gonna copy attack and defense of your Twin-headed Thunder Dragon. I'll set a card face down. Gotta end my turn. Draw. I'll activate Upstart Goblin and draw. 
Enter battle. Battle enter. Copycat attack twin headed. And I'll pass. And you're wrong. I'll flip the Mystic Tomato. 1400. I'll activate Scapegoat. Which one do you want to attack? Which, who are you a monster to? Goodbye, Pinky. I'm gonna turn this, this light on here. Okay, cool, this is better. Seven under card and in my turn. Draw! Four. I'll activate Giant True Nade. Okay, returning all the spells and traps to the hand. That's right. So what do you have in there? I have the Send You a Thousand Hands. Got it. And I'll activate his effect. Relinquished. I'll activate my Black Illusion Ritual. I'll be tributing my least favorite scapegoat. Here's looking at you, Clyde. To summon Relinquished. And now we'll use Relinquished effect to take control of your Mystic Tomato. So now I'll enter battle. Battle entered. Send you attacks for 1400. And Relinquished attacks for 14 as well. I'll end my turn. I draw. I'll set a card face down. Set two more and end my turn. Draw! Send you attack is face down. It is. The wall of illusion. Okay, I have to just make sure you weren't baiting me. Main phase two, I'll set and I'll end my turn. I draw. Set a card face down and end my turn. Draw! Relinquish attack is face down. Surprise, it's a second wall of illusion. Uh, now say goodbye to Relinquish as it returns to your hand. However, we will both take the battle damage from that, I true. believe. That's true, we'll both take uh, 450. Oh my god, that's so that's scary. so close to game. That's so scary, I didn't realize, oh my god. Set a monster face down, and I'll end my turn. This got dangerous. Oh, I don't like it. Set, pass. Draw for turn, set, pass. I draw. I activate Raigeki. Wow. Yes, destroy all monsters you control. <sighs> and you know what that'll mean, Duelist. I no activate. No monsters left on the. Solemn Judgment. Okay, or that. Yeah, I had a feeling that was there. Hey, I'm not about to get Raigeki. You're gonna okay, so this. I'm at 50 and you're at 1025. Yeah, that's right. Oh, the margin man. here is slim. Tribute the Wall of Illusion for Summon Skull. We'll attack this scapegoat. How about Inky? No! Your move, I'm Duelist. Keep my face. Draw! I'll set a monster face down, set a spell or trap, and I'll end my turn. Draw for turn. Normal summon La Jin, the mystical genie of the lamp. La Jin's gonna attack this face down. You hit, send you. Summon Skull's gonna attack this one. You hit, Sidebird. I set one card face down on the field. Your move. Draw! I'll activate Graceful Charity, but draw three. All right, now I have to lose two cards. Relinquished in La Jin. I'll activate Mystical Space Typhoon. And I'm Ooh. going to blindly hit this card. Ooh, you picked a good one. It's solemn judgment. Right. I was you cleared you know, a judgment. Hoping for that to bail me out. Is that Hopefully that's all your judgments. We'll see. Because I'm activating polymerization. Ooh, not what I wanted. We're gonna send these two thunder dragons from my hand to summon twin-headed thunder dragons. I'll normal summon copycat. Oh, you had everything and anyway. I'm going to had copy your summon skull plans. stats. And just in case, I'm gonna activate Monster Reborn. Wow, okay. These had all the cards. Gonna, you, were gonna, <laughs> you were fine. You were fine. Where, where, where's, where's like the biggest thing I've dumped? We'll get, we'll get a Summon Skull. Okay. okay. One of you guys are going to get game here. Yeah, that's like get like Mirror Force in my <laughs> I, I drew it. That's from my packs. Copycat Attack Lajin. Yeah, that'll do it. Okay. Oh man. Just that had sucks. to be sure. <laughs> Good game, Duelist. <sighs> you live to see the final episode of Retro Rivals. I did it. I get a free 2,000 plus body whenever I want. Relinquish can take a body off the board. Copycat can become essentially any monster on my opponent's board. Like, Paul's gotta be afraid. I can OTK now. I can OTK out of nowhere. Cloning. Cloning actually sort of kind of made an impact this time around. I was able to, in a hand where I didn't have any other summonable monsters, it was my trap, I could set it, and Alex summoned La Jin, I flipped it, it's 1800 and now like it's suddenly a threat and it's doing something. I would ideally like to be able to one day use this on like a summon skull. That'd be the best way to do it. Or maybe even like a G-Rag Goomba, but I don't think Alec runs that. But um, good enough. Well, you guys, that's gonna be episode eight of Retro Rivals. I know you guys have really quite loved this series. So be prepared for the finale. What should we do? Something special maybe? We should wager all three Egyptian God cards. You get to put an Egyptian God in your deck, both 
but choose not to. <laughs> <laughs> you were like, no, that's fine. I, I think I'll pass. I think Slifer is good. I think in these duels, I don't want anything that takes three tributes. No, I don't know how I'm going to get three bodies on board as a tribute for them. Yeah, I mean, I was going to say scapegoat, but I guess that doesn't even work either. In the, episode, in the last episode, we should both get battle traps. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's the real rules. You're allowed one mirror force and just one. And your opponent just has to be scared of it the whole time. All right, thanks for watching, guys. Drop a like, of course. Leave us comments. Let us know all the mistakes and screw-ups we made. As you know, we made plenty. We'll see you guys in the finale. Past, Past turn. turn.